Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Walmart Public Media. Thursday, April 13th, so we don't have a Friday the 13th this month, uh, will be the third quarter moon in the early morning sky. Uh, the sunspots have kind of rotated away from us as so you get uh, two weeks for a sunspot to travel all the way across and go around the backside, basically. Again, drought conditions from last week to this, things got a little worse in the southeast and a little better along the uh, southern mountain ranges. Looking nationally, we have huge lessening of the drought in the west. It's largely being wiped out. Lakes are filling up. It's great. A little worse, though, on the Great Plains. This is our remaining area that needs some springtime relief. Let's look at the quasi-animation of the snowpack. You can see it's staying up high and then Last few storms kept it rocking, rocketing very high. Uh, we have really good snowpack uh, on a state average. It's 139%. Fantastic. And we got a little bit more. Uh, I thought this was going to be a pretty minor storm, half inch to an inch and a half. Um, we did get an inch and a half uh, coming up to Tuesday, and another two inches. So, yeah, it, uh, we got snow. Um, more than I expected. Another storm that has overperformed right on Boulder, like three, four, five inches of snow or so. So, yep, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, dive in and keep track of those two. Looking for the precipitation, it really was a front range northern mountains, central mountains uh, type storm, but lots of more great, more, more great water. That's horrible English, sorry. Smoke, uh, nothing really to talk about. We have our two-frame animation of the uh, severe weather probabilities climatologically. Oh, sorry. Thank you, computer, for doing that. Um, and it's inching our way. Definitely, in reality, lots of severe weather has been occurring in the south and southeast. Lots of large tornadoes, lots of damage. So, and Wednesday was another day for that. Marginal risk on Thursday, and then a huge area of slight risk on Friday. So crashing after crashing storm in the eastern U.S. We get the surface map. There's a Wednesday today. We have a, a little chance of precipitation uh, in the afternoon. It's not much. Right now the skies are blue. So Thursday clear and dry. Friday clear and dry. We actually begin quite a long period of clear and dry and some above normal temperatures going into the 70s maybe even approaching 80 on the plains in spots. We have a little chance of showers Wednesday night. Not much until almost 10 days out, there's a signal of something coming along. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Our water vapor satellite image, not so important for uh, forecasting as it is in the summer when you have the moisture for thunderstorms. And so you can see the trough in the west and this big swoop of the jet stream coming in to feel the severe weather out here in the east. Our next notable upper air feature is the giant ridge moving over Monday and Tuesday. That's when we have our warmest temperatures coming up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really warm. Next Friday, so 10 days out, is the next time we get a trough in to our neck of the woods. Way too far out to see how big of a storm this will be. But at least today's model of this run initialized in the morning on Wednesday. So it was a pretty strong low in on the plains, some rain, some thunderstorms way out ahead of the system, cold front down south, and wraparound precipitation on the mountains and nearby plains. So see if that does anything. So over the next 10 days, our trough from our early week storm pulls up into the Great Lakes, replaced by a big ridge and warming, warming, warming. We have that little ripple there coming through Sunday, but it's just not gonna do much. It gets immediately replaced by an even stronger ridge Monday into Tuesday. Here we go into sort of southwest flow, keeping us warm and dry into Wednesday. And then a trough approaches from the Pacific Northwest, it really sharpens up, cuts off almost. Yeah, there's some cutoff right there. And then it rolls over the state. So, pretty good position for some stormy activity. We start with the cold air that's already in place. We had the cold front come through a few days ago. It's down in Texas. It's creating all the severe weather out east. We warm up really fast with the southwest winds. And as we go into Sunday, the entire west really starts to warm up for the first time. This is going to be a problem for snow melt in California and, the, and Washington, Oregon, and the interior mountains. Um, 
Uh, we're going to get hot. Look at that. Way above normal. Then the cold front begins to push down on Thursday, first week, and then gets pushed back by the heat. Then a stronger cold front comes down on the weekend and starts to sweep in, I'm sure, more severe weather uh, out on the plains. So let's look at the precipitation. A current storm is just dropping snow on the mountains and maybe a little bit on the plains, not giving it much of a chance. And then it just stays dry here Saturday. Look at the west, finally getting a break from storm after storm after storm. That's a good sign for them. All right, looking at Monday, Tuesday, that little ripple goes way north of us. There's a low here, but it's starved for moisture. Uh oh, please keep animating. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. And there that was a big strong strong boy jumped right past it i wonder if it should let play again okay let's go ahead and do it i am getting a new mac so this one is just not keeping up with the video demands and playback that i'm trying to, to do here so who knows what it's doing in the background it's a problem so here we go into sunday again super dry it was monday and tuesday past us to the north Storms down here looking very spring like. Low intensifies on Thursday. There comes another low in, and then we get storms, snow wrapping around, hitting the front range, hitting the plains, rain further east. Okay. So, over the next five days, a little bit of shower activity possible. This is mainly Wednesday, and a little bit of snow possible. Might see something Wednesday evening. 10 days, a little more moisture, but still less than a tenth of an inch. And then snow-wise, it's still less than an inch. Obviously, that can change a lot. I've been kind of burned by two storms recently. So we go from 40s to 50s, and then 60s and 70s for the weekend, and then early next week, uh, we have 70s and maybe cracking 80 for the first time right here in Longmont with really dry conditions throughout. But keeping an eye on those, western snow and it's not snow free they're still going to get some storms and we're going to still get some significant storm places 10 13 uh, over here is 20 24 inches or so a couple feet in these high mountains you see the snow level is rising so it isn't snowing at the lower elevations but that means there will be rain which will increase uh, runoff and mudslides so california is not out of this this is just the beginning of the cycle and it's going to be crazy Long my leader, Broomfield leader, local weather you can check on, and lots of local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Hensworth. Keep looking up.